Hey guys and welcome to the channel. If you're new to this channel, my name is Chris and I make 2021 Honda Civic Sport hatchback videos. So if you want to join me on my journey on modifying this car and making it my own, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And today's video, I'm going to be discussing mods under $100 that I've done so far to this car. And I will be listing the price in the description because I don't remember all the prices of the mods that I've done to this car. First, I wanna thank you all for that 1.5K subs. And I do appreciate everything because without you guys, I won't be doing any videos on this car. Um, so you guys really motivate me to push more videos of this vehicle. So thank you all. So with that being said, let's talk about the mods under $100 that I've done by myself, DIY. Let's go. All right guys, so the first thing that I wanna talk about are these side markers. Uh, I got these off of Amazon, and the first week of owning this car, this was the very first thing that I modified uh, because out of the factory, this car came with this orange reflective um, side marker, which looked a little off from the car because this car is like black and white, and having this orange reflective side marker just looked weird. So I went ahead and changed it to this smoked LED. And this side marker is actually supposed to be a switchback, meaning if ever you're signaling or using your hazards, this LED would flash orange or an amber color. But for that, you would have to wire it to your side marker, uh, which I didn't want to do. I didn't want to risk um, breaking anything. So I just decided to cut it off and stuck with the regular LED, which still looks nice. And I do highly recommend this. So if you're interested, I'll also be linking it down in the description. So very cool. So moving on to the front, I also did the headlights. So I did the low beam and the high beam the same day I did the side indicator because this car actually came with halogens. Um, so we have this LED DRL, daytime running light. So this DRL right here was LED, but the headlights were halogen. So what I did was I immediately changed these out for LED to get that modern look. So as you can see, it's a little dirty from all this snow and salt from the road, um, but this is LED and my high beams are also LED. So it'll match this daytime running light. So yeah, if you wanna see an install video, go ahead and look down in the description. All the mods that I've done to this car will be on the description. Also, my channel is just full of videos of this car, so if you're interested on other videos, go ahead and check that out. And since we're talking about the headlight, I also did the side indicator lights because these were also halogen bulbs. So I went full LED on the front. So this is what it looks like right now. And these lights are like 100 times brighter than what this car had stock and it adds a cool look to the car because it, you have these LEDs showing right here. It also has Last Fit's logo, whereas before it was just a round orange bulb. This is what the turn signal bulbs look like. They're super bright and they're from Last Fit and they're LED, so they're a lot better than the halogen that this car came with. Not only did I do the front indicators, but I also did the back, which are now LED because like I said earlier, these were originally halogen. So I went full LED, and the only thing left to LED out is the reverse light, which I'll get in the future, so stay tuned for that. Let's move on to the next mod. Also, if you look down here, I haven't done it yet, but which I will soon, I'm gonna get fog lights. Uh, right now, I have this fog light cover uh, from Luminex. So it just sticks on like a, like a screen protector that you put on your phone. So you just stick this on, use a credit card to get rid of any bubbles or a hair dryer or a heat gun so that you can smoothen this out. Um, but these are really cool because this gives the car a different look because of these yellow fog lights. Uh, also, when you're driving in the fog, these yellow lights tend to cut through the fog better than your regular headlights because yellow is a different color. I don't know, I'm not a scientist but having a different color as your fog lights is safer than having a regular colored light down here. So I do highly recommend changing out your fog lights to yellow or blue or red or whatever color you want. So yeah, I also did that. You can also see a video on that as well. 
Now we're on the side of the vehicle and as you can see I have these window visors that I've just recently installed. Now they're from Basin R and if you're interested on getting these and installing them be sure to check out my video but these if I remember these are $60 this is the only one that I remember the price on but these are $60 and highly worth it because not only does it make the car look more aggressive by making the top part of the car a little bit wider but it also adds an extra layer of tint they also add an extra layer of tint because if I was a truck driver and I was curious hmm, what's inside of this vehicle these visors will prevent them from looking inside window visors help protect the driver or any of the passengers if they want to crack open a window while it's raining or snowing that way none of the liquids will be able to come in if you if ever you do decide to crack open that window because you need that fresh air I'm mainly speaking because my passenger usually farts inside of the vehicle and it smells so I do need to crack open the window sometimes especially when it's raining so these are very helpful uh, because it does get some of that fresh air inside of the vehicle and some of that stanky air out so I do highly recommend these and they're really easy to install it only takes about 10 minutes to install you just have to get it aligned right on the window so now that is the exterior mods under hundred dollars let's go into the inside of the vehicle now that we're inside of the vehicle the number one mod that I highly recommend for everybody to get that's under hundred dollars is of course this dash cam now this dash cam I got it from Amazon it's a Vantrue N1 but you can also get dash cams for as low as $40 or even less because uh, the lowest that I've seen so far is $40. But the dash cams are really, really cheap and they're super simple to install. And I do have videos on how to install dash cams. But on that video, I said to feed the wire on the visor. Um, I'm just gonna correct myself on that video. I actually, there's a way that you can feed the wire through your roof liner right here. So I might be doing a separate video on how to install a dash cam. That's going to be my second video. That way I can clear things up when you install the wire through your liner instead of your visor. So the second thing that I want to talk about is these floor mats, which I got from Last Fit. So not only are they super convenient to have because they're easily washable, but they protect your carpet from any of that dirty contaminants or dirt or whatever you're bringing from the outside because Again, we are still in the middle of pan pandemic. You don't know what the hell you're bringing inside your car. But these mats are super easy to clean, especially during this time of the year where there's a bunch of salt on the road. Um, so they're really convenient to have. Whereas if you went and stuck with the factory floor mats that this car came with, then you're gonna have to scrub away that nasty stuff that you brought in from the winter uh, come spring. So with these, you can just easily wash it off with water and just give it a quick scrub with a brush and a little bit of soap and you should be good to go. They're fast drying, they're waterproof, they're flexible because if you bend them, they're not gonna be disordered. Uh, they're also super cool to have in your car because it completes the look of your vehicle. Um, and then they have these high walls that prevents any of the dirt or rocks that you bring in from the outside going onto your floor so you don't have to clean that carpet when you're cleaning out these mats. If you want them, I highly suggest to use my code CTFK7 to get that additional 10% off. The third and final thing that I want to talk about are these interior lights because stock this car comes with these yellowish brownish halogen lights but now with these LED lights the car becomes brighter and it becomes more modern looking. And these lights will prevent you from being sleepy because those halogen lights, in my opinion, tends to make me sleepy. Um, so with bright LEDs, they light up the car really well and they also make the car look super cool and modern. Those are the three interior mods that I have so far inside of my car. If you guys have any suggestions on any modifications that I can do to my interior, go ahead and comment down below because I do respond to the comments and I do read all the comments. All right guys, so that about wraps up this video. These are the mods that I've done to this car that's under 
$100. Most of these items you can find on Amazon, but the rest I'm gonna be linking it down in the description. So again, if you wanna see an install video, uh, I'll also be linking it down in the description. Also check out my other videos because I do other videos. And so anyways, thank you all for watching. If ever you're interested in last fit items, now the floor mats that I mentioned earlier on LastFit's website, they're $109, but with my code, you can get 10% off, which leaves the price at $99. So you can get these floor mats for cheap, $99, you're not gonna beat that, and they're super, super cool. Also, my side indicators, um, they're also from LastFit, so if you're interested in that, be sure to use CTFK7 for that 10% off code. Anyways, thank you all for watching. This is Chris Time FK7 and peace out.